I'm Mary and this is Let's Bake and Cook Stuff. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would like to tell you that today I'm making glue butter cake and this is something that's very near and dear to my heart because I have made this for nearly every holiday for about the last 30 years. Um, my sister Laura used to request it like every holiday. Sometimes I think I might have even made it for her birthday cake a couple of times because she just loves it so much. Um, she passed away this year so I'm actually dedicating a few of my videos coming up to her and I'm calling this series things my sister loved and one of the things that she loved was gooey butter cake so I'm gonna start out now I will tell you that she liked just the regular basic gooey butter cake that you make with yellow cake mix which is great but I'm showing you today with still cake mix <laughs> and this is a butter pecan mix that I picked up I hadn't seen it before I certainly haven't tried it before but butter pecan doesn't that sound delightful then you have one egg one stick of butter, it's softened. I actually softened this in the microwave. That's your crust. Easy, right? Mix that up. You're just gonna stir that in your mixer till it's thoroughly combined. This is nice and thoroughly combined. I have sprayed this nine by 13 pan. Oh, this smells buttery and pecan -y. You like butter pecan ice cream? That's what this reminds me of. But again, you can use any cake mix, literally any cake mix. I've done this with lemon and made like lemon bars. I've done this with strawberry cake and the cream cheese mix tastes so good with it. Um, now you're gonna spread this in uh, evenly into the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna use my hands. I'm just pressing it with my fingers and getting it spread in there evenly. Okay, you can see the whole bottom is covered. Now we have one block of cream cheese. It's an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Another stick of butter. Two eggs. Now mix that to combine it. Okay, that's combined pretty much. Now we're gonna add the powdered sugar. This is one pound of powdered sugar. And what I really like about this recipe, besides it's delicious, is that there's no measuring. You're just taking a, a the sticks of butter, the eggs, the, the cream cheese, the cake mix, and the frosting, I mean the uh, powdered sugar, and that's it. You don't have to measure anything. So if you don't have any measuring cups, this is a great dessert you could try. I put it on low to make sure that the powdered sugar doesn't get all over everywhere. Now I'm gonna turn it up to medium. I'm gonna go about one stop right there for a second and then um, just scrape the sides. Okay, now literally you saw how easy that is, right? We put a cake mix with an egg and some butter and made it the crust and then for the center we just put some powdered sugar some more eggs some butter and some powdered sugar oh I forgot the vanilla just about a teaspoon mix that in now we're literally just pouring this into the crust and then it's going to bake for about 40 45 minutes if there's a couple of lumps of cream cheese in there, don't worry about it. That's gonna melt a little bit in there, so it's gonna be fine. I have made this so many times. Like, I can't even tell you, probably at least 100 times. <laughs> it's great for potlucks. It's great for, for holidays. It's great, as, as I said, my sister, I made it for her for a birthday cake. I think I've made it for someone else for a birthday cake before, too. I brought this to my job. My supervisor wanted to, he goes, my mom really liked that. Can you make me another one? <laughs> okay, and just spread it out evenly. Okay, this is gonna go into a 350 degree preheated oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. We'll see you then. You want it to be still a little bit gooey in the middle. That's, it's gooey butter cake, it will set up. So you don't wanna wait until it's completely cooked because it's gonna cook a little bit as you uh, cool it off, okay? Give me 40 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, it's gooey butter cake time. Now we can cut it. It's nice and cooled off. The thing about gooey butter cake is it's almost like a cheesecake. You saw we put the cream cheese and the butter in there. And so it is gonna be better chilled, but it's also good, uh, you know, at room temperature or if it hasn't quite chilled all the way, but it is gonna be better tomorrow than it is today. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna cut a little slice, you know, my little slices. We use the butter pecan cake with this, but you can use this with any cake mix, literally any cake mix. I've tried it with so many different ones. Strawberry, red velvet is amazing. Um, lemon, chocolate, 
carrot cake is really good, especially for um, like Easter and stuff. Uh, but uh, this butter pecan, this is the first time trying that. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's very good. I think if I made this again with the butter pecan, I might add a few more pecans. That was Alexa. That wasn't me. Anyway, try this at home. Let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching. You take care now.